Hello folks, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. There is nothing like the smell of salty sea air and the sound of the waves crashing into Seoul. So we embarked on a trip to Whitby, commencing our journey from Leeds. Although it is possible to reach there by train, but we have decided to drive instead. Whitby is definitely a must visit destination for anyone traveling to England. It is a seaside town, port and civil parish situated on the east coast of Yorkshire at the mouth of the River Esk. It is known for its pictures harbour, charming narrow streets, historic abbey ruins and sandy beaches. This fascinating town has connections to Captain Cook and Dracula. On our right lies the stunning North Sea with its breathtaking vistas and awe-inspiring coastal scenery. Our initial stop on this trip was the charming Sands End Beach. Sands End is a small fishing village near to Bitby. is the birthplace of fishing magnate George Pyman. The awe-inspiring sight of the North Sea truly made our day. Then we went to Whitby Piers. This is the bronze statue of Captain James Cook. Whitby piers lie east and west of the harbour mouth designed to protect the harbour from flooding and have been in existence since before the 1500s. During the reign of King Charles I, the two oak piers were replaced partially with stonework. In 1905, both the piers had a new pier end built on, each of a length of 152 meters. Today the piers are a favourite spot for local fishermen and amateur photographers. The West Pier Lighthouse is a 83 feet stone column tower with a lantern on top. This light still displays a green light when shipping is expected. A walk to the end of West Pier makes you look back towards Whitby as if you are a homecoming soldier. By then we were feeling quite famished and found ourselves unable to resist the temptation of trying out the renowned speciality of this place, fish and chips. We went to Magpie Cafe, known to be one of the finest fish restaurants in the area. Indulging in the classic British dish of fish and chips was an absolute delight for our taste buds and senses. 
The highlight of our day was undoubtedly the magnificent Whitby Abbey. The striking Gothic ruins which was an inspiration for Bram Stoker's horror novel Dracula. Rather than ascending the well-known 199 steps, we opted to drive straight to the Abbey. There is an admission fee and the tickets can be purchased either online or at the counter itself. For nearly 700 years, the splendid 13th century Gothic Abbey has towered high above the town of Whitby. The wonderful views of the coastline and the town while exploring the Abbey's extensive remains was absolutely rewarding. Centuries of fear, weather and war have left their mark in many layers of history to explore and unravel. The ruins of the abbey have continued to be used by sailors as a landmark at the headland. This is the path that leads to the famous 199 steps, which descend from the old St. Mary's Church and Whitby Abbey down to the town. As the day trip drew to a close, we savored the remaining moments of our adventure. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my content. See you soon.